A closer look, center Frank Ragnall Bio, a high school offensive tackle in Minnesota, he was moved to center at Arkansas. A backup as a freshman in 2014, Ragnall started 13 games at right guard in 2015 and 18 at center in 2016 to 17 combined. A high ankle sprain sustained in the seventh game ended his senior season in 2017. According to the school's bio on Ragnall he never allowed a sack in his career. He had 33 consecutive starts before the injury. Good arm length, 33 to 1, for a center. Workout results, the only drill he did at the combine was the bench press. Overall, including his pro day, he had the best workout results in the bench press, 27 reps, 40 time, 5.01, vertical jump, 33.5 inches, and standing broad jump, 9 feet, 7 inches, of the center's analysts take, NFL.com, brings a desired level of physical demeanor to the field each game. Ragnall won't wow you with foot quickness or athleticism, but he takes smart angles to his blocks and shouldn't be limited by scheme. His size, power, and anchor is a big plus as is his ability to swing over to guard if needed. Mike O'Hara's take, I thought the two primary areas to attack in the first round were on the interior of both lines, defensive tackle and center or guard on offense. Ragnall gives the Lions a combination of that, with starting experience at both spots. Whoever the Lions drafted at center or guard would not have been a sexy pick. But if it protects the quarterback and improves the running game, then it'll look good on the field if not immediately on paper. Tim Twentyman's take, the prevailing thought when it came to the Lions pick at number 20 was that GM Bob Quinn would either address the front seven on defense or the interior of the offensive line. He went the offensive route. Ragnow isn't one of the names that was associated with the Lions in the pre-draft process, but he was pro football focused top ranked center each of the last two years at Arkansas, and was expected to be a late first round pick. Ragnow has experience at both guard and center, though he predominantly played center the last two years. The Lions will probably bring him in and see where he and Graham Glasgow fit best, but I'd expect both to start.